Today on 3D Outdoors, we're going to be talking about super easy and super cheap DVD shelves right after this. All right, decided I wanted to get the DVD collection down on the main level of the HQ. I do have a, in the main entertaining room in there, I can store a few DVDs in there, but out here we've got the, the 75 inch TV and the surround sound, and I wanted to get the movies down here. I always had them upstairs in the loft area up there. People could see them, they're like, wow, you got a lot of DVDs up there. But every time I wanted to get some, I had to run up there, I only kept a few down here. So how could I build something super easy and super cheap for the DVDs? Didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. Well, this is the way to do it. Let me tell you, this is super easy and super cheap. Let me show you what I did. And this is all over the internet, not my idea, not laying claim, but I can't give anybody credit either because I don't know who came up with it first. So let's take a look. All I needed were two by fours and one by twos. You heard me right, that's it. I've got, what do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten two by twos and three two by fours in that whole rack. The uh, one by twos were like a dollar twenty a piece, and the two by four is what two and a half bucks, two dollars and thirty cents a piece. So, very cheap, and a few screws and a few tools that about everybody has laying around. You take the one by twos and you screw them to the two by fours. DVDs just set right in there. You don't need that extra wood. I've seen some great plans for some fancy furniture DVD shelves, but you're spending a lot of money, a lot of time that you don't need to if you don't need that look, and I didn't. I simply screwed these together, used a couple of wall anchors, anchored it to the wall, and that was all there was to it. Now I used, I think, eight and a half inches above each one of the, the rungs, so I went from here, eight and a half inches, attached the next one, that gave me 10 rows. I was a little short in the top, but there's plenty of room there to hold the DVDs on the end. And I kind of left that for some of the bigger box sets. But as you can see here, let's see, there's NCIS that's in boxes, so those fit. The Stargate ones, those fit. So if you do eight and a half inches, you got enough room to get them in there and put them in. I pilot hole drilled these through the uh, one by twos because I was worried the one by twos being cheap, they'd split. So I just pilot hole drilled them and then screwed screws in that I had laying around. And easy peasy. That's all there is to it. You just lay it out, make sure it's square, screw it together, set it up against the wall, put your wall brackets in, and start setting your DVDs in. Like I said, you just grab them, set them right in. Back of the wall holds it. Nothing needs to be here and the front holds it, so it isn't going anywhere. It's, it's sturdy as if you had wood all the way across. It's a great idea. So there you go, if you wanna build a DVD shelf for say under 20 bucks, that'll hold, well, I think I calculated out, you get about 750 DVDs if you fill it top to bottom. And so I've got top to bottom, I could have it filled a little bit more, so I have over 800 and I have more room to go. Obviously I'll leave it open where the uh, electrical and the water spigot is there, but I've got plenty of room for expansion there. So there you go. Under 20 bucks, easy, cheap DVD shelving. This is Dan with 3D Outdoors, reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, and you can always follow us over at 3D-Outdoors.com. That's our website where we put everything together. See you next time.